In this introductory tutorial, we'll create a simple feed-based template in Reusable Flow. First of all, what is the difference between a feed-based template and a Reusable Flow? Let's take a look at NiFi to understand this. A feed-based template provides a prototype for a feed. Let's go into Airlines and look at two different feeds that were created based on the same template. So here we'll go into Dealer Registration, and notice we have a set of components that include the ability to select a database or a file system uh, flowing out uh, to our standard ingest reusable flow. Also notice the initialized feed parameters. And if we look here, we can see that all the values were injected by Kylo when this feed got created. And the values are really metadata that was configured in the user interface as a user stepped through the wizard. If we get out of the dealer registration feed, we can go into aircraft reference and we'll see that these are really based off the same template. Notice that aircraft reference got its own set of components uh, based off uh, the model provided by the template, but of course its parameters are going to be different. Now in both cases, the feed flows out through an output port to the standard ingest. We can see that all the process groups at the highest level have relationships coming out of them formed by these arrows into a process group called reusable templates. Kylo uses this uh, specially named process group to store all the reusable templates in the system. And it's really just an organization technique. You can see that it flows in through an input port and then into the actual standard ingest process group itself. And this is where we get to the standard ingest flow. And keep in mind that there's only a single instance of this in NiFi. So all feeds that use standard ingest flow into the same process group. OK, so now let's go and create our own uh, feed-based template. And we'll create our own reusable template. First of all, it's important that we start from the root process group. As I've mentioned in other tutorials, uh, NiFi scopes all controller services to the process group that they're created in. And we want to make sure that we're sharing the same controller services across all feeds. OK, so let's do uh, a, a very simple get file put file. But we'll, put, we'll have the get file in our feed-based template, and we'll have the put file in a reusable template. OK, now what we're going to do here is add a couple properties that are going to get substituted by Kylo when the feed's created. Let's add the category. And we can wire this later, but if we do this, it makes it easier. This is going to be the category system name. Let's do the same thing for feed. And this way, when uh, we flow into the reusable template, or, or the reusable flow, we'll uh, pass along these properties, and then we'll have context. Then let's add one additional property, which is the location where we're going to put the file. And remember, we're going to put the file in the reusable flow. So we're going to show how we, we're passing this property through. We'll just give it a temporary value. We'll allow the user to override that when we register the template. OK, now we'll wire these together. The feed is only going to consist of these three processors. The flow file will exit through this output port. And then it will go into a reusable flow, which contains simply a put file. So the flow, file will, the flow files come in on the input port and will come out through the put file. All right, first of all, we're going to highlight holding down the shift key and dragging. We'll highlight these two boxes and we'll create a new template for this and we'll call it the put reusable flow. 
we save that template and then we will do the shift drag and select and we will save this as get template feed template all right so now that we created our templates we can remove these we don't need them anymore before we leave NiFi, we need to export the reusable flow template. Kylo requires you to uh, provide a file for reusable flows. Let's go ahead and uh, export the put reusable flow. And now we can go to Feed Manager, the template section. So we'll import first our reusable flow. Since the feed based flow uh, has an output port, Kylo is going to want you to specify what the connecting port is. So we'll create a reusable flow first. And remember, we're going to import it from a file. We'll click overwrite because uh, the template still exists in NiFi. We didn't delete it. And we're going to click create reusable flow and then import the template. Okay, now that we've successfully created the reusable flow, let's look in NiFi. We can see our new reusable flow here. If we go inside, we'll see that it just has that one processor, put file. And now let's go ahead and create our feed-based template that uses it. Click the plus. This time we're going to import from NiFi. The template exists in NiFi. Uh, there is no restriction for um, creating feed-based templates directly from NiFi. So we'll click import from NiFi and we'll find our template, which is get feed template, and then continue to the next step. The first processor in the feed uh, is considered an input-based processor. And so uh, at this point, we, we can specify any fields we want to allow the user to set when they create a feed. And we'll allow them to specify the input directory we're going to click allow user to supply value and we're going to render it as text. We'll also allow them to specify the file filter and go to the next step. Remember we also had an update attribute processor and that's where we had some of the fields. Now the location field is going to get passed all the way through into our reusable template and we want to allow the user to specify where the file should be um, dropped. So we'll click allow user to supply this value. I said we didn't really need to uh, specify this value in the processor and you can do it at registration time and let me show you how to do that. So if you use the dollar symbol, you'll notice there's a number of special reserved metadata keywords and all of these are able to be injected by Kylo. So if we wanted to put the category in here, category system name, we could also overwrite whatever the default was in the value or in the in our template and when the feed gets created Kylo will actually substitute the value of this into the flow statically and becomes a, a, an actual static value we don't want the users to actually see in the wizard these particular fields we're not going to allow user to supply value in this case, there's no table customization, so we're just going to leave it at the default. So we need to tell Kylo how to wire the output port to the input port of the reusable flow. And then we can set an icon if we wish. And we can also order the template where it shows up. Let's just leave it here. And then for lineage purposes, we can also select any sources we want to track for lineage purposes. And then we'll register. So now let's go up to the feed list and let's create a new feed. And remember we had selected uh, these two fields to be visible to the user. Okay, now that we created the feed, let's go back into NiFi and see what happened. Okay, we can see that Kylo created a process group called First Feed, 
And if we open that up, we can see that we have a clone of our template, but it's fully configured. So you can see the category name got substituted by Kylo demo and the feed system feed name first feed and the location where we, we want to write the file. And in the get file, we can also see that it's configured to where the user specified when we created the feed. Now, let me go ahead and drop a file. Okay, I just dropped a file and we can see that it got picked up. It went through update attribute and then out through our output port. So let's go to the reusable template and we can see that data actually came in and got written out through the put file. So our template with a reusable flow appears to work.